بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الذي هدانا لهذا وما كنا لنهتدي لولا أن هدانا الله وأصلي وأسلم على نبينا الكريم نبي التوبة نبي الرحمة نبي الشفقة وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن والاهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين وبعد We give thanks to Allah سبحانه وتعالى we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to send blessings upon the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to extend the blessings down to the companions and to everyone bi idnillahi ta'ala. You are welcome to another episode of, of our book, 30 Ways of Attaining Happiness. And our episode, the topic of our episode today is going to be Al-Hasad, Al-Hasad, Al-Hasad. Al-Hasad literally means being resentful about the goodness that a person has achieved. That is to say, uh, you are not, that person is not happy about what the other person has achieved from the, uh, in, in terms of goodness. Majority of the scholars have opined that al-hasad is a disease in the, in the heart. When a person has it, then that person will not be ever, ever happy in his life. Because you always want more and more. You are looking at the other people to decide what goodness that you have. So if you don't have what they have, you will never be happy throughout your, your, your entire life in this world. And that is why the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in a hadith that was reported by Imam al-Bukhari, uh, he said, La don't, don't dislike yourself. Wala tahasadu. Don't Envy yourself. Don't be jealous about the other person. And then he said, "Wakunu ibadallahi ikhwana." Be brothers. Try to be brothers. Don't be. Don't be scattered. Be together. The goodness that you want for yourself should be the same goodness that you want for your brother. La yu'minu ahadukum hatta yuhibba li akhihi ma yuhibbu li nafsihi. You will not be a complete mu'min until you love for your brother what you have loved for yourself. Therefore, al-hasad, we have to try to make sure that our heart is clean, our heart is pure from that, uh, dead, from that deadly disease. In the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلَا تَتَمَنَّوْ مَا فَضُّلَ اللَّهُ بِهِ بَعْضُكُمْ عَلَىٰ بَعْضٍ Don't be envious. Don't think about what the favor that Allah, that Allah has given to some people above you. Because if you, if you do that, you will never be happy. You will never be happy. As Muslims, we should be contented. We should be contented with what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to us. Why? Because Allah has written down every, every goodness that we have or that the other person has. Allah has written that down 50,000 years before the creation of the heavens and the, and the earth. And if a person that has hazard knows that this has been written down a long time ago, little will he worry, little will he be unhappy about because you, you are sure that whatever comes to you is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has decreed that it will get to you. Then, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam gave us a permission, a permission to do hasad, to be envy in two cases. The first one is rajulun atahu Allahul Qur'an. A man that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given the knowledge of the recitation and the meaning of the Quran. And this man kept on reciting it in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. This kind of man, we can be envious about him because we want to be exactly the way, the way he is. And the second person, Rajulun Atahu Allahu Al Mal. And another man that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given money. And this man kept on spending and spending to the poor, spending to the needy, spending to the miskin, giving the zakat, the morning, in the morning, and also in the, in the night. He kept on spending 
from that wealth that Allah has given to him. We can be envious about this man. We can think of, oh, oh Allah, please, I want to have exactly the way that man has so that I can also do the way he is, he is doing. So the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam only allowed us to be envious in these two cases. Apart from these two cases, we should try as much as we can to clean our heart, make your heart clean. Don't be so, so particular about what the other person has. But you, have, but you need to be particular about what you have that other people don't have. أقول قول هذا وأستغفر الله لي ولكم إنه هو الغفور الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته